thinking of making the jump from renting to owning? For many folks, purchasing a condo is an excellent leap into homeownership. Now, I've sold hundreds of condos over the years, and today I want to give you my diva tips on how to buy a condo in Seattle. Okay, before we get going, the Steva would really love it if you could hit that like and subscribe button below. We would hate for you to miss out on all our juicy Seattle real estate content. Okay, first, let's talk about the four main motivations a buyer might choose to purchase a condo over a single family home. One, affordability. Two, ease of living. Three, location, location, location. And four, current or future investment potential. So take this home for instance. Today I'm here at the Meridian, one of Capitol Hill's high-rise condo buildings. This one bedroom condo hits all those motivation points for a buyer. It's affordable. It definitely offers ease of living, especially since this building has concierge services and tons of amenities like a gym and a party room and even an extra room for your guests since they're probably not gonna wanna be in your living room. <laughs> it's also in an incredibly stellar location. I mean, it's just blocks from downtown and Capitol Hill. I mean, you're just right up the street and you're on the Pike Pine Corridor with all kinds of amazing things to eat and places to go and nightlife. And you're really close to downtown where you can go to either the Act Theater or the Paramount or go shopping. I mean, talk about amazing location. And it actually would make a pretty great future rental. Now, I have to preface that by saying that the rental limit in this building right now has already been reached, but there could be definite opportunities down the road for you to convert this home back to a rental. So voila, you have a condo that hits all four points on the spectrum. Great, so you found a cool condo like this one and you're ready to take the plunge. I bet you're saying, well, what do, what do I do next? Well, here are my top five tips on how to buy a condo in Seattle and ensure your first leap to homeownership is a success. Tip number one, find a realtor who knows the condo market. You will always have the best chance of a smooth transaction if you choose a realtor who knows how to navigate the ins and outs of working with a seller, an HOA, and a management company at the same time. There are definitely pitfalls to selling a condo if you don't understand the lay of the land. Also, when interviewing a realtor, it's important to ask them these two simple questions. One, do you have experience listing or selling condos in this area? And two, do you have any experience listing or selling a home in one of the condo buildings in the area in which you're looking? Super important to make sure your realtor has some basic of knowledge of how to sell a condo. Tip number two, get pre-approved with a loan consultant who also knows the condo market. I mean, only makes sense, right? This is very similar to choosing the right realtor. There are lending rules that are specific to purchasing in a condo building. You wanna make sure you're working with a loan consultant that can communicate the financial pros and cons of purchasing a condo and also has the ability to close that loan quickly, especially in this super fast paced Seattle market. Also be aware that depending on your financial situation, there are added fees and maybe even increased interest rate that you may incur when you purchase a condo over a single family home. This is why it's always important to have someone working with you as your realtor and as your loan person who understand the condo market. Okay, tip number three, determine your main motivation for buying the condo. Remember those four motivations we discussed earlier? Well, choosing one or two as your focus will really help ensure your success. For example, if your primary focus is ease of living, you may want to only focus on buildings like this one with garage parking, concierge services, in-house amenities like a gym. But if location is your primary motivation, you may want to look at a diversity of condo buildings in that location in which you're looking, high rises, lofts, maybe even 1920s buildings. Choose your focus and go find yourself a condo to buy. 
Okay, tip number four, read all the homeowner association documents provided. Once you find a condo to buy, now comes the really most important step. So when you buy a condo, we basically say that you own from the walls in, so to speak, or sometimes we say you own airspace. This pretty much means that any information that's communicated to you from the seller is really only focused on what's happening inside the condo. But well, what about the rest of the building? I mean, everything that happens in a condo building ultimately impacts you, your ownership, and your investment. This is why you should never purchase a condo without thoroughly reading the resale certificate and all the Homeowners Association or HOA documents available to you. These documents will give you the best picture of how is the Homeowners Association being run? What are the rental rules? What are the pet restrictions? Are there any pending assessments or any major building work that might be coming down the pike? Are there any pending lawsuits that could impact your ability to even purchase that condo or to sell it down the road? Here's a quick list of all the documents you'll want to review before you move forward on this condo purchase. So there's a lot we could talk about. We don't have time to talk about it all here, but for more information on the subject, please check out our blog post reviewing the resale certificate when buying a condo in Seattle. To do that, just click on the link in the show notes. Okay, last but not least, tip number five, don't skip the inspection. Now, you may only own from the walls in, but that does not mean you want to be careless about investigating what you're buying. Inspecting a condo is just as important as inspecting any single family home you're gonna be purchasing. The telltale signs of bigger building issues often can start in one person's unit. A failed window seal, slow water flow in a bathroom, a moisture spot on a ceiling, all of these could be a sign of bigger building issues. Do your due diligence and get that inspection. There you have it. This Diva's five tips for how to buy a condo in Seattle. If you want to know more about this condo at the Meridian, you can click on the show notes and go to our listing page at teamdivarealestate.com. And if you want to find out more about the Capitol Hill condo market, check out my video, what you can buy for under $500,000 in Seattle's Capitol Hill. This is Kim saying ciao for now.